Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Atlas video. And in this one, we're gonna be taking a final look at the Atlas map and what we know about it so far. Last time I made a video on the topic, guys, I told you it would be my last one, but we actually have new information. The first bit is that we now have the whole map in 4K resolution. That's gonna pop up on your screen right now. Last chance not to see it, boom. I'm going to warn you that if you didn't wanna see the map, and maybe for those of you that did want to see the map, some of the information that's coming up next, you may not want to see. You may consider it spoilery. And some of the work that was done in order to get the locations I'm about to show you was done by Reddit users who have skills I don't have. I've done my utmost in order to check the information and make sure that it is accurate, but the bottom line is I'm just not smart enough to do the work they did. <laughs> so I'm not smart enough to gather the information or to put it together. So I believe this to be accurate, but I can't say for certain that it will be. The most important revelation in the map I am about to show you is the location of every Atlas Freeport and its biome information as well as location information. We will also reveal the existence of a place called the Central Ma and each of the Golden Age Ruins locations. This is your last chance not to see this information. So the image on your screen was made by combining the new 4K map of the Atlas world with data pulled from the Atlas server network by a Reddit user named Inspire. He was able to map that data onto a grid represented by the servers running the world, and we have since combined it with the 4K map. The data that Inspire was able to pull had 917 actively running servers, and as far as we know, that's about the right number to run an Atlas world, and it listed the IPs, the number of players currently on each server, the limits for each server, and their names, and they were named in a very distinct pattern. A1, F14, H7, J9, and uh, Inspire was able to take all of this information and slap it together in a grid. You are now seeing that map. Numbers 1 through 15 running down the vertical axis, letters A through O running along the horizontal axis. And once put together, we were able to find a bunch of squares with important things in them. A lot of servers didn't have a simple name like Grid A4. They had detailed names of what was contained inside them. Of course, we had one for the Central Ma, we had eight for Golden Age Ruins, and then we had 16 individual freeports with specific locations and biome information. So we're going to dive into that next. But before we do, I'm going to point out, we now know what's at the center of the Atlas. It is something called the Ma. Now, I'm picturing a giant hole like a bathtub drain that is hungrily sucking up the entire ocean, but that's my imagination running wild. In reality, it is probably the boss fight arena where you do battle with that giant luminescent kraken. If it's not that, and you think I may be wrong, what do you believe we will find at the Central Ma? I would love to know. There are also eight servers that will be home to locations for Golden Age Ruins, where technological remnants of Atlas's once great sky civilization have come to rest. We know that mythical creatures can be found guarding those ruins, and I'm going to speculate that these are the equivalent of caves in Ark. I imagine you will arrive at a Golden Age Ruins island, and there you will fight enemies on your way to the center of either a maze or a cave or something of that effect, and there you will probably fight a larger boss. Um, in defeating them, you will get great rewards, as well as a ton of XP by fighting your way to that boss. Uh, the rewards will probably be the equivalent of blueprints and gear, just like in Ark, but I'm expecting these to be popular locations. Once people realize what they are, and you can start hitting them in order to level yourself up, it's going to be very, very interesting. What are you expecting for the Golden Age Ruins, guys? Will you be heading there early? Can you wait to blast a Gorgon in the face with your blunderbuss? I certainly can't. It's going to be fun to head there for the very first time. One of the things about the Golden Age Ruins on the map, guys, is they are spread out over the whole world. It looks like it encompasses ice islands, temperate islands, tropical islands, and maybe even desert islands. And some of the squares that contain Golden Age Ruins have more than one island in them, whether that means you will be able to do interesting things at both, or whether the mapping system is off by one or two, uh, it, it's quite possible that that, that that will happen. We've mixed up A3 with A2 or something to that effect, where the naming done by the creators of the server network is off a little bit. Um, but what do you expect at the Golden Age Ruins locations? We can also confirm that there will be 16 individual free ports spread out around the Atlas globe. Up till now, we'd heard three, we'd heard four, no one ever said 16. There will be 16, and we also have geographic 
and biome information about those freeports. There will be four temperate freeports. They are the dark green squares on the map, and you can see they are quite evenly spaced out. Each one seems to have four islands inside it, and there is one to the northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest, all about the same distance from the central maw. These are the islands where we have seen both of the time-lapse shipbuilding videos, so I'm expecting pine trees, uh, autumnal colors on the deciduous trees, and r gray rocky cliffs, as well as that cool-looking eagle head that reminds everybody of a Muppet. There will be four tropical freeports. Now, these are the orange squares on your screen, guys. We can see, uh, once again, no one in each of the cardinal directions, uh, the diagonal ones, northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest, uh, and they are all in a fairly close uh, proximity to the equatorial line that runs right down the middle. So two tropical ones to the east, actually quite close to each other with four islands each, and two tropical ones to the west, much further away from each other, but again with a very similar layout. We have two equatorial freeports, and these are in a straight horizontal line on either side of the central maw. We haven't heard of an equatorial biome, but we have heard of a jungle biome. Will these be the same thing? We don't know. Now, these equatorial freeports seem to have four islands each in a unique shape, so they're built to have a harbor inside, as far as we can tell. They look like boomerangs, and we had highlighted these in my last uh, video where we did the 100% map confirmation thing. A lot of people said still not confirmed. Well, it's kind of confirmed now in 4K, y'all. Not to rub it in your face. This is not a video about me. This is a video about all the cool locations we have found. Be cool, UTC. Uh, there will also be four desert freeports, guys, but they won't all be the same. There will be two high desert and two low desert. Now, if you've played Scorched Earth or you've played Ragnarok, you know the difference. Low desert is dunes and cliffs and cactuses. High desert is uh, mountainous with uh, scrub brush and trees and things like that. So these are actually uh, uh, dispersed in a sort of vertical line away from the central maw. So to the east and west of it, we have a low desert ones, and they seem to have four islands each. To the north and south, and fairly far to the north and south, close to the snow biomes, we have two spots with uh, desert islands, uh, high desert. Now, these spots don't look uniform. So I'm of the mind that you might end up moving that high desert uh one up one from whatever that would be i3 to i2 and that you may end up moving h13 down to h14 now we're relying on the uh, people who put together the server network to have made their grid right and if you look at the map it looks to me like the high desert might be one above where it says it is and the low the other high desert might be one lower than it says it is but that's just a guess at the very least, it seems to be very close to spot on, but those are two of the things that don't look quite right when I go around and try and match up Inspire's grid to the map. There will also be two Tundra Freeports, guys. We have seen one very small clip of the snow biome, people uh, harpooning a whale, and there is no actual landmass. We see icebergs and chunks of ice floating in the water. Um, I'm fairly confident about these two, as they are the only uh, grids in the snow biome that seem to have four islands evenly spaced out from one another. These are called tundra freeports, and a tundra is very different than an iceberg, guys. Think of a winter desert. So what we'll actually see when we get there, I'm intrigued, but they are built like the other freeports with four islands each, probably with four servers running them, and they are a place to spawn. So if you want to begin by exploring the polar regions, you can. Those are all the freeports. Those are all the Golden Age Ruins locations, and I didn't take you too closely to look at those guys. They all seem to be about right. They all seem to have one island in them, with the exception of one, uh, the most northerly one, at G3. There's a chance it's actually at G2, because the one just above it has a single island, and all of the other Golden Age Ruins squares seem to have just one island in them. So when making the grid, it's possible that the folks at Nitrato kind of messed up the naming a little bit, uh, but... I don't think Inspire made the mistake, and we know this map is an accurate depiction of the Atlas world recently, so it's quite possible those will be slightly off, or that some of the islands have been shifted ever so slightly. But here we go, guys. That's everything that we've got. We have a map in stunning 4K detail that you can zoom way in on. You can now use this information to choose where you're going to spawn in with your friends, which freeport you're going to begin in, and where you'd like to sail from there. I know me and my crew are already talking about which spot to begin in and where we want to try and go. 
So I'm gonna make sure I link you in the description to the newest PC Gamer article, which is the source of the 4K map. I will also link you to the post in which Reddit user Inspire revealed the server location information and made his original map, which was just a blue square with a bunch of little squares on it saying this is how the Atlas map will, will, will look. Since then, we've been able to combine his map with mine, which I theorized would be the map, uh, and uh, it looked about right, and now we're able to combine it with a 4K version that the author herself has said is definitely a map of the Atlas. Got a lot of information to go on, guys. You will get links to that in the description. Anything I think will be relevant uh, will be pinned below. Scroll down a little bit into it past the first few things, and you will find all the relevant links. Now, in case this is the first video of mine you have seen discussing this map, guys, I'll give you a very little bit of backstory, uh, as many people have disagreed with me and said this map is not legitimate. And fair enough, it began in very low resolution, but I've made a few videos since. Uh, I began once I saw a post by Droopzor, who is Luke Drennan down in the comments, uh, of the map uh, in a little better detail. I started thinking that it was definitely going to be the map. In Luke's post, he was able to take uh, the 4K article. So there was an entire spread and a very small corner of it contained a map. And so when he was able to pull that from a 4K article, we got a map that had a decent number of pixels. However, the central bar, for example, each of the grids was only about 20 pixels across. They were not very big and the biggest islands were 12 or 13 pixels across. So it was still not in crazy high def, but his was enough to get me thinking. I went to Reddit and said, hey, I think this is the map. I made a video saying, is this the map? I think it might be. And we got a lot of discussion going. For those of you that disagreed, uh, I'm sorry, but you were wrong. This is the map as it existed recently. Um, and uh, I will say this. I can't confirm that when we get in the Atlas world today or tomorrow or the next day or whenever it eventually happens, that the world will look exactly like this. The game is in active development and they could be making changes, but I can confirm that this is a map of the Atlas world as it recently existed. That being said, guys, I don't expect devs are moving islands around. Because there is so much ocean between each piece of land, it's quite possible that they are able to just pick up and swap chunks of the server and move them to different places and make this map look different, but I believe it will look very much like this, if not be identical to this. One of the next arguments I made, guys, was that the world would be borderless. I was able to match up the east side of the map with the west side of the map, and I'll do that on the screen now in 4K, and I noticed that they seemed to match pixel for pixel, even the underwater topography matched. So I began to theorize that the east and west uh, would be borderless. If you cross the left side of the map, you appear on the right. I tried to do the same thing with the top and the bottom of the map, and it didn't work. So I then started thinking, instead of being Pac-Man, where you can sail off the top and arrive on the bottom in a true 2D map, I started theorizing that it would work like a globe. Now, it's important to say that it will not be a globe. Our world will be flat and represented that way in-game. However... When, the, when we get into the game and they give us a map, I don't know that we'll just open a map book. I have a feeling we might get a round representation of this world and that uh, the world will work that way. So if you sail off the east, you come in the west. If you sail to the north, you're at the North Pole and you're not just suddenly going to be at the South Pole. You're going to have to cross the whole world all over again. I was also able to make some realizations, and again with some help from you guys as well, about the world. We noticed that the north and south had all of the snow biomes, and those seemed like they would be polar regions. The islands don't seem randomly dispersed. The bright white ones are all in a, at the top and at the bottom of the map. I also theorized that the islands would be, uh, that the biomes, for example, would be arranged horizontally in latitudinal lines, so that across the center of the map you would have the warmest islands, all of the tropical ones. The areas between the polar regions and the tropical equatorial region would be the temperate ones. And now that we've seen the location of the free ports, that definitely seems to check out. The one thing I wasn't sure how it would function is the deserts, and from what we can tell, they run on a meridian, and they are existing in the temperate and and in the tropical regions, and almost right next to the cold regions. So I argued based on the layout of the islands that it was going to function like a globe instead of Pac-Man. My new friend Pedro from the channel uh, Shipwrecked reached out to the author and was able to confirm that yes, she got the map from, uh, P from the developers. A lot of people had theorized it's just a map made by PC Gamer. I definitely never thought that. Once you go into detail, it's incredibly complex and there was no way it was whipped up. And even at low resolution, we could tell that this map was too detailed and too well laid out to be a fake map. All of you who argued that, 
I will say in your face. Now, uh, until today, like I said, the best map we had, until it last late last night, the best map we had was the one that Droopzewer posted, which is a small square from a 4K magazine layout. And late last night, Philippa posted a new article about Atlas, and in it she provided us with the entire map in 4K resolution. So like I said, I'm linking to Philippa's article in the description, but it mainly confirms the points I had argued. Biomes are latitudinal, polar regions exist, and the world is definitely borderless. All of those were right, so if you're wondering whether to trust my information on the location of the free ports, I've been right on all those accounts so far. The last question we had, and like I said, is whether the world would be borderless like a globe or like Pac-Man. Um, and Philippa, I think, has still got a lot of people thinking it's going to work like Pac-Man, where you sail off the top and you come in the bottom. And that's because she makes, I think, one important incorrect assumption. And I'm going to put arrows on the screen as I quote her article here. And I'm going to go back to just the 4K version of the map. This is a quote. As soon as you start thinking about how the world would translate into a 3D shape, the globe idea falls apart because heading northeast will suddenly put you in the southwest. I think that's wrong, and she's not thinking about it like a globe. She's still thinking like Pac-Man. If it works like a globe, when you sail to the northeast and you reach that corner of the map, you will actually appear in the northwest, but sailing southeast. If you're only listening to my voice, you're not probably going to follow, but with the arrows, it should help. It is important to note, guys, like I said, that the actual map will not be a globe. It will be flat, but borderless when we're in it. But when we look at the map in game and we go, hey, where am I in the world? There's a very good chance that, that the developers choose to represent it as a globe and that it will function as such instead of as a square Pac-Man map. And an important shout out, I've already mentioned Inspire from Reddit and Droopzoor, but a shout out to Data Freak who has been helping me confirm my thinking. He seems to be very good with math, as his name might suggest. And while I was sleep addled and barely able to uh, think straight last night, he was able to go, hey, this is what you're saying makes sense. So the 4K map that we now have, guys, gives us a much more detailed look at the world of Atlas. Zoom in, check it out. And when we combine that with the amazing info from Reddit user Inspire, who I will say his locations are based on the way that Nitrato has named their servers. If they made a mistake naming things, for example, I talked about the high desert locations look like they might be wrong. And one of the Golden Age ruins locations right next to the northern high desert also look like it could be wrong. If I am right about that, then they have... There's potential that they have messed some things up, but generally, when you look at the locations of the free ports as identified by Inspire and mapping up with the ma matching up with the map, they look right. They all look like free ports. There's a very similar pattern between them, and I think we can go ahead and assume that this is the map. You are going to be able to make plans, talk to your friends about where you want to spawn and where you're going to sail to, and you can now look at this map in crazy HD. It is insanely insanely detailed and you can start to make some planning a lot of people will say hey there's a lot of copy pasted islands we still at this resolution don't know guys but every island is going to need to have certain things to it including potentially harbors for ships uh, so that your offline afk friends won't lose their stuff and have to be floating way out at sea so I think there's a reason that you see a lot of repetitive shapes, and I don't necessarily think that means that the islands in the world are going to be identical. We will have to wait and see, of course, but uh, don't stress over that detail as you begin to zoom in on the map. So once again, guys, I will say I cannot promise this will be accurate at launch as the devs are still working on the game, but at this rate, most of my predictions so far in relation to the maps have come true. So I think you are safe to pick a free port, pick an island to claim, and get out there with your pirate friends. Links for everything important are in the description, and this will absolutely be my last map video. Delve into the 4K version and start planning, you geeks. Thank you for watching. I'm UTC, and if you appreciated this information and my info on maps up till this point, which has all been accurate, go ahead and click the like button. And I will see you in the next video, or live, when Atlas finally releases. I cannot wait. Hoist your sails, and I'll see you on the high seas, y'all.